Yep. What's up everyone, it's Goose, and today I have not been very good about drinking water. Today we're gonna take another look at the Friedman HPE on the HX Stomp and see if we can make one small change to make the HX Stomp sound more like the Quad Cortex. A lot of you mentioned that there were some differences that you had noticed, and so let's do a little quick refresher on what those differences might be. So yeah, there definitely is a difference and kind of the general distortion of the tones is still the same. However, there's just kind of a bit of a difference after the cabinet block, in my opinion, that kind of makes them sound definitely different. The quad cortex is a little bit bassier and the HX stomp is a little bit more kind of mid centric. And this is why I think this small change after the cabinet block might actually make these two almost identical. Before we move on, if you like guitar gear and nerding out about guitar gear, consider hitting like and subscribe. All right, so today we're effectively going to be making a Quad Cortex Global EQ for your HX Stomp. Again, a lot of y'all were saying in the comments how the HX Stomp is a bit more mid forward and the Quad Cortex is a bit bassier. And I kind of agree, though I think the tones are closer than those statements kind of make it seem. And after playing around with the Global EQ for a little bit, I think I'm within 99% of the ballpark of kind of changing the tone of the HX Stomp to feel more like the quad cortex. And this is with the same amp settings, the same drive settings and the same IR as well. Two notes really quick before we get into the demo though. The first is as mentioned with the same IR, we have to use the same IR. The way that they captured the stock cabinets on either model is drastically different unless you do some really crazy EQ or post-processing. I don't think you're gonna be able to get them to sound exactly the same. However, York Audio, Ownhammer and Bogren Digital IRs are in my opinion, a little bit more preferred than any of the stock cabinets on any of these models. So that works in our favor, we're gonna be using those. The second is really that I want y'all to go into this not thinking one is gonna sound better than the other. All I'm doing is using a simple EQ to try to make the HX Stomp sound like the Quad Cortex. I'm not saying one or the other is better sounding than the other. And I think for the collective guitar community, we have to stop thinking about what sounds better and just figure out which one works for us a little bit better. And this just gives us an option to change the palette of your HX Stomp a little bit closer to that of the Quad Cortex. So for our setup, I'm gonna be using the FGN with my Seymour Duncan Pegasus in the bridge. Again, same settings for both of the units. The only difference will be the global EQ on the HX Stomp. So let's first get into the comparison so you can see how close I got, and then we'll dive into the EQ changes that I made. So let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 
So yeah, I think they sound super similar now. And all I did was change the global EQ. There might be just a little bit of difference in the mids, but honestly, with the limited EQ we're able to do, this is incredible. And you probably wouldn't be able to tell them apart unless I had told you what these modelers were. So let's go over the changes I made to the EQ. So when you listen to the HX Stomps tone with just the flat EQ, it's definitely mid centric. So the first thing we're gonna do is pull down the mids. I have the mid peak here centered at 770 Hertz and at a Q level of 0.5, and I'm gonna pull the gain down by about three decibels. And the reason why the Q level here is really important is because I didn't want to impede on anything past 2K and I didn't want to also take away too much from anything under 300 Hertz. So this is what it sounds like with the mid pulled down. So it sounds a lot more open, uh, sort of more akin to the quad cortex mids. But the Quad Cortex also has a lot more in the kind of mid bass region, and that's to give it more feel, I think. So we're gonna take this low peak right here and treat it like a shelf. There's no tool to actually create a low shelf. And so what I wanna do is I'm gonna drag the frequency all the way down to the lowest possible, drop the Q level also down to the lowest possible, and then increase that by about two decibels. And so this way, that crossover point is just under 300 Hertz, and that gives everything under that a little bit of a boost. However, the quad cortex is a little bit tighter than just having a boost down this low. So we're gonna take that low cut and we're just gonna cut it at around 35 Hertz. And so this is what that sounds like. <laughs> And so you can tell it's a little bassier, but it's also still tight. And I think this is a good combination for the low end. The last thing we're gonna have to do is, I feel like with this kind of a EQ, we're missing a little bit of that high end information from the quad cortex. So, so I'm gonna take that high peak and center it around 9.5 kilohertz. Uh, with a Q level of 1.5, I'm gonna boost this to about three decibels. And so initially you might think this might sound a little bit bright and you'd be right. So on the quad cortex, despite there being a lot of high end information, I do think that there is a bit of a roll off in order to keep it smooth and sounding a little bit more tube like. I mean, that's their biggest marketing thing is we're so much like tubes. So we're going to take this high cut and roll it down to about 16 kilohertz. And that should help take the edge off of the high notes here. <laughs> So yeah, that kind of gives you that clarity, but also that smoothness that you get with the quad cortex. And so let's do a little bit of a before and after of the flat EQ and then post EQ. All right, so there is a lot of difference there, and the differences I would describe as very close to what the differences between the HX Stomp and the Quad Cortex were before. But now that this is dialed in for that Friedman HBE model, will this EQ work for other amps? So when Line 6 released the 2203 model on their HX Stomp, I compared that model with the one in the Quad Cortex, and the differences were very similar to the differences that y'all were commenting on about the Friedman, basically more mids and then a little bit less bass than the Quad Cortex. So let's switch over to the 2203 model and compare it with that global EQ. And to show you the difference that the global EQ is making, I'm gonna first play the HX Stomp without the EQ, and then the Quad Cortex, and then the HX Stomp with the EQ. That way you can see how much the EQ is doing to kind of emulate what the Quad Cortex is doing.
Even though this wasn't matched for the 2203 model, it got the HX Stomps version much closer to the Quad Cortex's version than without the EQ. If you look at my EQ, it, it's not any more than three decibels in any direction. And that, in my opinion, is a testament to how much the HX Stomp can stand up to the big boys. So I hope this helps anyone trying to get more of that neural DSP vibe with their HX Stomp. And once more, I don't think the HX Stomp sounds bad with a flat EQ. It's a bit more mid forward. It's just a little bit different. I mentioned this a lot because I went to a concert where one of the guitarists was using a Helix and it sounded amazing, better than any of the other bands on that same day. These bands were using actual tube amps, neural plugins, etc. And I think the Helix just was dialed in to sound a little bit better than the other bands. And that's just my preference. I'm sure there are other people who thought that the other one sounded better. And that's the beauty of it all is to find the right device voicing and the, the right kind of EQ for you. And so I hope this helps anyone with the HX Stomp who wants more of that neural flavor because you can definitely get it out of this unit. And this was an important video for me to make because I know some folks on HX Stomp who want to upgrade to Neural Quad Cortex. And this kind of gives you a in-between. This might give you a way to see if you like the Quad Cortex tones or not. And to be honest, I consider going from the HX Stomp to the Quad Cortex just for the tones to be more of a side grade than an upgrade. Really what you're getting in an upgrade is that touchscreen and the workflow and the power of the Quad Cortex. But in terms of just pure amp tones, they're more on level with each other. But yeah, let me know if this EQ helps you with your HX Tom to get more of a neural vibe for your sound. Again, it's not too crazy of an EQ, only a few dBs in one direction or the other, but it does make a big difference in changing the feel, and I hope it really helps someone out. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Later!